So a tip would be to script out your course up front and this is going to save you time in filming, it's going to save you time in editing later and then create a day-to-day -day course publishing plan. So what are you going to do over what time period have you given yourself to create this online training? How many hours can you do on which days? And you actually plan that out and that's also going to help you to, to give you an idea of how much time you can actually put into this. Now I find uh, an Excel sheet for that is really useful. You know, and, and using your default diary, you might say that, you know, on a Monday to Friday, I'm going to give three hours in the afternoon. Or maybe it's five o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock in the morning, you know, that you'll be doing. And maybe there's a couple of hours on a Saturday and a couple of hours on a Sunday. And so it, it gives you an idea of how long as well you're going to take to bring this to market. And of course, that might have an impact because maybe this online course is something that you need to bring to market very quickly because it's supplemental to something else that you do. So all of that needs to be taken into consideration. So on page 9 and 10, there's an exercise. And if you go ahead and you answer these questions, that's going to give you a lot of clarity around the training and, and, and these things that we've just looked at. So go ahead, do the exercise, just fill in the questions and do that for every, of the, every one of the chapters as we go through this training. So by the time you get to the end, you'll have a much, much clearer idea of how you're going to do this and actually make it a reality. After all, that's why you're starting this journey. You, you want to learn how to create the courses. So give yourself the best opportunity to be able to do that. So go ahead, do the exercise, and I'll see you in the next video.